Hey everyone! Um, so it's been a really, really long time. We got tagged in a Disney video by Jen and Mark. I'm gonna tag Jess and Jackie because I love you guys and you two do these so well. On February 25th is the email. Yeah, that's the email. And I think that was like already a month after they tagged us. It's been so long and we are so sorry. But, I mean, what better time to talk about Disney than when the park is closed and we're all missing it? It's Bob and Kelly's Disney tag and it's 15, oh, 15 plus a bonus. Ooh. All right, so the first question is, what ride at any Disney park have you wanted to ride but have been afraid to? I used to be afraid of Tower of Terror, but I'm not anymore. It's true. Yeah, I don't think we've been scared of any of the rides. It's just Tower of Terror for me. Yeah. And you when you were little. And you were like, help! Oh my gosh! Help! Help! <laughs> Alright, the second question. If you had to live in a Disney park for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Uh, Disney Sea. Heck yeah, that was going to be my answer too! In the Maricosta. Yeah, oh my gosh, that would be beautiful. Okay. So if you guys have not checked out Disney Sea yet, you really need to go look at it. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Good timing. All right, question three. If you had to talk in a character voice for the rest of your life, which one would you pick? And they need to hear it. Okay, we have deliberated. <laughs> Um, so we both have kind of decided that if we have to pick a goofy voice, I don't think that either of us would ever want to talk like this person forever, but I decided to go with Stitch because Stitch is adorable. How? Yours <laughs> is so good. <laughs> Mine's not. <laughs> well, I chose Eeyore. Why are you getting closer to my face? <laughs> um... I don't want to do it now. <laughs> Thanks for noticing me. But I mean, if we had to pick a character and actually talk like them for the rest of our lives, I think it'd be easier to pick like Rapunzel or Mulan or something. All right, number four. What is your favorite pavilion in Epcot? Mexico. Really? More than Japan? Because Mexico is Donald. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, there's a ride in Mexico and there's a really good food place. Mm. and don't. I think mine is still Japan mm. because they have the kakigori and if you mm. guys haven't tried the kakigori get the melon flavor with the sweet milk topping. Food Morocco looks Japan. Store China. Oh, and ambiance Mexico. All right number five which restaurant at Disney have you wanted to try but are afraid of? I'm not afraid of any of the restaurants. Maybe, like, you're afraid of spending that much money. Oh, maybe. The Royal Veranda, or, like, 21 Royal, or whatever mm. it's called. That one that's, like, $12,000 a dinner. Oh, yeah. Yes. So if anyone wants to invite us to it and then maybe cover the bill, that'd be great. Because we don't make that much money. Oh, it's 15000 <gasps> Oh, my so, Yeah, God. 21 Royal Dining. There we go. Very afraid to eat there. <laughs> what is your favorite Epcot festival? The art one. The festival of the arts. Oh yeah, because you still get to eat. Yep, you get all the food and you get the pretty art. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. I'm not a big fan of food and wine because everyone is like drunk AF. Um, and that makes it not fun to walk around. And the flower and garden one's kind of boring. But the art one is fun. Alright, number seven. seven. Have you attended any Disney special ticketed event and which one's your favorite? <laughs> We've attended most of them. We attended Mickey's Not So Scary mm -hmm. and then Mickey's Halloween Party in Disneyland. I don't know if it's... It's named something different, but I don't remember what it is. Yeah. But then we also attended Oogie Boogie. Yep. And then we did... Um, Christmas Party. Yeah. And the After Hours mm. one, but it didn't have a theme. Yeah, no, it wasn't like Disneyland's themed ones, which are always on weeknights. Yeah, they have themed ones now at Disney World, but they just oh, they introduced do? it now. Oh, cool. Like the villains one. Oh, yeah, I really want to go to that. Yeah, that's one I want to go to. Oogie Boogie here had really cool villains that you never see, so that was That's cool. true, yeah. I'm going to pick Oogie Boogie because they also had cooler music. They did, yeah. They filled like the entire park with like pop 
versions of all the Disney horror songs. They had Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy on it, so... <laughs> I think I'm still going to go with Mickey's Not So Scary, though, because I really like the Hocus Pocus Spectacular. Mm, I like that, too. And I like the boo to you and boo to you and boo to you and you and you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. I don't even remember the parade they had at Oogie Boogie. Oh, at Oogie Boogie? It's because yeah. it was terrible. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> and that song was so annoying. It's Halloween, it's Halloween, everybody. Try yeah. to get that song out of your head. Oh, and the nighttime show at Oogie Boogie was just terrible. Oh, yeah, that was oh bad. You know what? I might change mine to... <laughs> Welcome Mickey's back. not so scary. <laughs> Number eight. Pick a Disney character and make a cocktail or non-alcoholic drink to match them. Well, I mean... I got it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Rapunzel. Mm. You take hazelnut with some milk and then you add some cocoa and sugar to it. And it's a hazelnut cocoa drink because she does the hazelnut soup. That was going to be her special birthday soup thing. That's true. Ah, now you're left to flounder everywhere. Shoot! Mine is a sea salt ice cream milkshake. For Roxas. Because he's nice. technically Disney. Technically. You could yeah. have literally done, like, Winnie the Pooh, a honey-based oh, drink. Oh, damn! The honey frappuccino for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, damn, you're right. Um... Number, oh wait, it's skip number nine. We're going straight to number ten. Uh-oh. Oh. Number ten, are you a planner or on-the-fly park goer? It depends. <laughs> if it's far away, like if we're going to Disney World versus Disneyland, we're going to plan everything oh, we do yeah. and get the fast passes. But if we go to Disneyland, I think we just kind of do whatever. Yeah, we just play it by ear. But that's just because we live here now. Yeah, so we get to go like twice a month. All right, number 11. Snow White can't afford to pay the rent for seven doors. Which one do you kick out? Dopey. Yeah. <laughs> not even any question. He does not contribute to the house. He annoys me. Like, I, I really dislike Dopey. Which princess do you think would win a beauty pageant? Belle. She's beauty and she's <laughs> grace. Yeah, I think it'd be Belle just because her movie is literally called Beauty and the Beast, so... I mean, that's, that's true. You know who else could win? I any think, <laughs> yeah, any of them. But I think Aurora, because isn't mm. one of the things is that, like, one of the three wishes is that she's, like, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I like, imagine she's sleeping there with her acne and then Prince Philip comes and he's like, oh, never mind. Because <laughs> she hasn't had a chance to wash her face yeah. in a long time. <laughs> Oh, and her name is also Sleeping Beauty, so... Oh, there you go. Yeah. We went the literal way. <laughs> yes. Which prince would get chosen to be on the show The Bachelor? That would imply that they didn't get together in the end. That's true. So which prince is least likely to end up with his princess? I think that Prince Charming and Snow White are a period piece, so obviously they're going to end up together. Prince Philip does not know Aurora. I think Beast and Belle are fine. Yeah. Although, if you watch the second movie... Oh my god, no, it's the third one. Are you sure that the third one was Christmas? No, the second one's Christmas. The third one oh. is the... You need to say sorry. No! <laughs> you need to eat more cleanly at the dinner table. <laughs> That's a so terrible weird. movie. John American Smith. Man. He's not a prince. If Pocahontas is a princess, then he's a prince. There you go. Yeah, actually, <laughs> he did end up alone. He did. So... so. Good job! Which Disney attraction is your favorite for napping? Well, it was Ellen's Universe of Energy. I don't nap on any of the Disney attractions. That's a lie. Because we nap on the American Adventure. Oh, you're right. I do fall asleep during that. Everywhere could be a napping place. <laughs> yeah. Napping place. Number 15. You're going on a Disney vacation. What one thing do you look forward to the most? And one... What one thing do you look forward to the least? The most would be my favorite ride, depending on what park it is. Mm -hmm. And then the least would be the crowds. The most would also be my favorite ride, depending on which park we're going to. My, what I'd least, what I would look forward to the least, no matter what park we're going to, is actually getting there. And then leaving. Leaving is always the worst. Post-Disney depression is a real thing. All right, 
Bonus question. If you were to sign up for DVC, which home resort would you choose? I love Bay Lake because it's so like cool looking, but I also really like Old Key West because it just feels like home. Yeah, I would pick Bay Lake also just because I know how close it is to Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that's been the tag. Um, Should we make a question nine? So here's our made up question nine. When Disney parks open back up, what's the first thing you're going to do? My first thing would be to go on Mission Breakout. I still don't know what I want to rent. <laughs> it could also be eat. Yeah, I don't. I want a corn dog. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to get that rose macaron. Mm. Mm. God, the park just needs to open up again. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're not going to tag anyone because no one has ever responded to our tags. But if you guys answer these questions, we'd love to actually see them. So sad sounding. I know. As always, stay safe, stay happy, most importantly, stay you. We'll see you guys again next time, and until then, we hope you wash your hands. Oh, and also have a magically wonderful day. Bye. Bye.